To tonight at 5, we start with Aurora's new top cop sitting down for his first in-depth interview since taking over the department just two weeks ago. Todd Chamberlain is the first permanent police chief there in more than two years and is stepping into a complex role at a very complex time. Fox 31's Ashlyn Michaels has more. That I will defend and protect. In just two weeks, Todd Chamberlain is already dealing with issues some chiefs of police never will. Without question, it has been uh, a lot and it's been very intense, but it's also the reason that I'm here. Let's talk about what everybody's talking about, the situation with gangs, with apartment complexes, all of that. What is going on? Well, I think there is without question an issue. I think we've had a huge influx of immigrants coming into the Aurora that two years ago were not here. I saw people that were basically sequestered in these small, dilapidated apartments. Um, they had entire families there. They had no, that I could see, Again, this is my opinion. I, I saw no infrastructure to support them. He says the now viral video of men with guns is part of a situation fueled by failures with the building owner and federal immigration policies. Is it a good thing or a bad thing to have the city of Aurora in the national political narrative right now? I don't think that this needs to be under the covers. I think this needs to be out. I think people need to know that a lot of cities are struggling. A lot of the people that come here are struggling. He's also inheriting a department bound to a consent decree after the death of Elijah McClain. It mandates the department make changes to racial bias, use of force, and several other policing standards. I'm glad we're in it. We can get through this without question. In two and a half years, we'll most likely be out of it. But that's not really my goal is just to do the checkbox because some monitor said, hey, these are the things that you got to fix, so fix them. He says he wants systemic, long-lasting change to earn back the trust of Aurora. It's 100% wide open. There isn't anything that goes on in this agency or this organization, budget-wise, staffing-wise, uh, use of force information, calls for service information. There is nothing that, that should not be transparent to the community. And if you and I were to sit down this day one year from now, could we look back and say, yes, you you achieved some goal? Yep. My biggest goal is, is, is to reduce crime. That's my goal. And that's the material that I'm going to have, the statistics, the data to validate that success or failure. Now, we talked for a full 30 minutes, so this was just a short snippet of all of the ground that we covered. But bottom line is, he says, the way things have been run in Aurora is not how they'll be run going forward. Matt and Erica, back to you. Ashley, youth violence has been a big problem in Aurora over the last few years. We've reported on it extensively here at Fox 31. Did the new chief talk about that at all today? Yeah, he did. That was one of the conversations that we had. Now, he's a big data guy, so he said already in these first two weeks, he's got teams compiling data. They want to figure out why these crimes are happening, where they're happening, who they're happening between, and really get to the root of it. But he said the other thing is he wants the police department to play an active role in curbing youth violence. He said it's up to officers to be a mentor and a good role model for these kids. That way they don't go down the wrong path. Back to you.